okay hi uh, today i'll be showing you how you can use yolo v3 on collab it is quite simple i'll try to explain it like uh, it is better to install darknet on the git on the drive compared to or directly on the virtual environment because every time the collab loads it deleted all the file which is in the virtual environment so first you need to just uh, make a directory so that you can install on my drive so I'll, I'll, I'll show you this so here it's a document folder which I created which I installed there so every time I run the code I just need to go mount the drive so that I can use directly from there so uh, this is cloning the cloning darknet installing darknet basically so first directly go I'll write the code so that see you need to first Uh, run this code so what this will do this will mount the drive and after mounting the drive you just need to give the authorization code then i am i separately made a gmail account for this so that doesn't create any problem for that just insert and it's done So after doing this what you need to do is like you should come here like G drive and all your resources will be here in the my drive folder so next thing you have to do is just clone once it is cloned you just make these changes what will it will do like in the make folder it will be there here in the upnet folder make folder will be there in this folder it will make changes it will turn everything open save one gpu one and CUDA one so that you can so that your processing will be fast so after that you is just checking the CUDA version and then make command make command is very necessary in order to run your code and after that once it will install it will appear like this darknet and with all the folders inside it and then just for training you just download this weights this is your v3 custom weights which consists of 80 classes so that you can detect everything almost everything after that you just need to give this define functions because in collab what is the problem is like if you want to show your images you, uh, there is no pop up about things like we used to do in windows or ubuntu you need to define separate function for that so just define this function and after that if you want to test then run run this command run darknet detection don't worry i will be um, i'll be sharing the link of this drive or this collab file in the description so that you can go through and after that just uh, use this im show prediction dot jpg which will show you the everything like what your prediction is and uh, then just <coughs> this is not necessary now because i used to use this command <coughs> once it is done so just and after that if you need any process for the processing what I'll do, I'll just show you everything. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. It's done. So that's it. After this code, you'll be able to do this. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how you can use the custom data for training and all
is a custom data for training your own model this is basically for that only everything so i think that's that's it for today see you guys in the next video thanks for watching